back to my channel. My name is Kristen and this is my channel Kicking It With Chris where I give you PT school content and school content for the most part. So um, in today's video, uh, sorry the background is just a little messy. I'm in my parents' office. I'm home for the break um, and for the first two weeks of school we're virtual so I'm going to be home this week and then I'll be back in Hampton for school next week um more so the, the the last part of the virtual leg and then we'll be back the following week so yeah so i just wanted to come to you guys today as you've seen in the title i am prepping for the semester today is sunday so i'm prepping for the start of the semester which is tomorrow this break went by in seconds literally really quickly um so yeah so i have my planner i'm gonna be putting some dates into some important dates into my planner we have my ipad just organizing things and uploading some things into good notes and then in my laptop i'm gonna be working through google calendar to help me with that i'm really trying to be way more organized this semester so that's the goal so why don't we just go ahead and get into it so i'm going to put important dates into my planner first and then we can go from there so just like exam dates that I put in here um as you saw uh not too much going on as far as exams are well we do have an exam in January but just a more clean one um so this is how I wrote it for February got a couple things going on um so yeah we have a bunch of stuff to learn this semester and a lot of presentations and a lot of assignments um so put all of those in and then I just wrote them in the like weekly part too. So the next thing I'm going to do is work on my iPad um, and go through good notes kind of organizing my stuff there showing you guys how I download PowerPoints into my good notes app um, because one the professor that or the class that I have tomorrow the professor uploaded tomorrow's um, lecture so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I already put in the syllabi, but it's the same process. Um, so yeah, so I'll show you guys how I organize that. Here is my GoodNotes app. Um, as you can see, I already made a tab, but in GoodNotes you can either have all of your stuff like this in folders. So as you can see, you have everything in folders. So you can either have it like this or you can have it like this. I usually, I was before having it more like this, but I think I like it. It's cleaner looking when I have it like this. So I just made a folder for my semester two. So I have a tab for my textbooks. Um, so I'll do that. And then, um, then I have my syllabi. So I'm going to just go ahead and click on that. And here they are right here. So yeah. Um, and I will need to like read today to like at least have I'm not gonna I may not read the whole chapter but at least get started on the reading for today um, for tomorrow's lecture so I'm going to do that so I'll leave that open but and that's for pathology which is the class like I said I have tomorrow so I'm gonna go into safari I already have things up So I just go here. Um, and then just click on Blackboard. Go to my courses. So Pathology has the lecture for tomorrow up. Um, so I'm going to just put in the PowerPoint. And 
um, some of the other documents that he has in there. So you just go up to this, this right here, this little share button, and then I just go to open in GoodNotes. And right here, that's location to location that I would go to now is just semester two. So I wanna add to that. So I'm gonna go semester two, pathology and import to pathology, um, which I think I'll make a folder for this document within the pathology folder. Um, which is something I like about GoodNotes, just being able to like organize things. Sometimes it takes a minute to like upload, but yeah. So here we go with our PowerPoint. So it just uploads straight like that. And I have it like this to go up and down, but you can change um, the way that it goes. So I could change it. Um, oh wait, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to change the way that it slides. Oh, the scrolling, I can change to horizontal if I wanted. So then it would be like this. Um, but I kind of prefer to scroll up and down. So I'm just going to go back to vertical. So here we go. Um, so like I said, yeah, so here we are. So I made a notebook for it already because I know that I need to like take notes so I'll just be taking notes in there um, here's the PowerPoint for tomorrow so I'm going to make another folder and just call it module one because he does stuff in like you know groups so I'll just write it in um, and there we go so then I will just select this um, and then move it into this there so when I go into module one because he likes to like do stuff in two modules so this is gonna be part of module one um, so yeah and that is basically it I kind of already organized everything um, everything that I felt I needed a notebook for I gave it a notebook none of my other classes have any other things up um, basic skills isn't even available to me right now and pathology is what we just worked on so that is how I utilize my iPad for school so yep this is what we do so I'm just going to upload these other two things into module one so I just do view and then have it here so I can just pull it up have it ready and then if I want to write on it I can um, so here we go so I might use this as like a guide as I'm reading the chapter um, as like questions to like keep in mind um, things like that so that might actually be helpful he didn't do that last semester so maybe this is something he does for this class I don't know but um, let's see and then this last thing okay so then I'll just upload that again into good notes um, import as a new document patho module import And then I have that available to me. Sometimes it uploads just another page in there. I don't know why it does that, but here we go. And that is all the stuff I have for um, GoodNotes right now. But if you want me to like show, like let me know down in the comments if you want me to show more of how I utilize GoodNotes. Um, so yeah, just let me know about that. And I will surely make sure to show you how I use the app. Um, yeah. As I prep for school, I also wanted to get my laptop ready. So I made a folder on my laptop. So each class, because I also like to pull up the PowerPoint on my laptop as well to follow along. 
Um, so I have folders ready for each class to just put each of the PowerPoints in each of these folders. So I did not do that last semester and it was kind of very, just very much chaotic. Um, so right now, again, don't have any PowerPoints to put up except for in pathology. So we will do that in a second. Um, but I have put all of my syllabi in here. I have them um, in between these two. So here's my semester two and then I have my full four out of the five classes in there. So that's basically how I have organized my desktop. I also did a lot of just digital cleaning. I had to get rid of so much stuff. I had so much crap in here, but yeah. So there's that. So now I'm going to go on to Chrome really quickly. So now we're back on Blackboard. I'm just gonna go to my courses and quickly download this PowerPoint um, on to my desktop so I can just have quick access to that. Just save that right on the desktop and then I'll import that in. Um, send. I'll just drag that into here. And then, okay. So now I have my first one for pathology and I'll just kind of put all the PowerPoints in here. I won't organize it how I do on GoodNotes just because GoodNotes is where I can be more specific. Um, here I just kind of want all access to all the PowerPoints quickly. So um, now here is my Google Calendar. Here it's set up for the month but we can look at it for the week. Um, so this is my week coming up. Um, I just kind of put everything in here. The colors are kind of bright. I might change those but this is like my schedule because I really want to make sure I'm on top of things when I get back home to Hampton I plan on meal prepping but since I'm home with my parents I won't be meal prepping <laughs> um but yeah that's the plan is to like meal prep sometimes I just have to put in like stuff to like remind me to do it um or I'm just either gonna forget or I'm not gonna feel like doing it. So I feel like if I have the reminder coming to my phone to be like, hey, do this, then that helps. So I just put in my classes for the week. This is my schedule. So red is like my class schedule. So these are the times that I'm in class. And luckily we don't have any class on Friday. So that's nice. I tried to block out time to study. So yeah, studying every day day basically because I just feel like there's no reason for me not to study on Friday because I don't have class and I typically study on Saturday I just don't study for as long because I don't feel like I need to um yeah so I also plan on trying to work so I put that in there a workout schedule um when I need to post because I need to put that in there um and yeah these are just the main things just to keep me organized because I was not organized last semester so I'm really trying to be better at that this semester and just really be on top of my stuff right so guys so that is my prepping for the semester um you just got to do your digital prep I'm trying to become more of like a digital student well you know so um I've been using my iPad and I love 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 using my iPad for school like if you are going into PT school, I personally recommend having an iPad or some sort of like digital, like a tablet or something. I think that they're A1, just everything in one place. Um, you're definitely going to need your laptop. And last semester I didn't use a planner and even though I did well, I was not organized. I was all over the place. So I definitely plan on using this planner um, this semester to like keep me on top of my stuff, plan things out write out all my tests and things like that. So that's how I am prepping for the semester. It's kind of different how I did last semester. Um, I didn't really go school shopping because like I said, I'm trying to be more of a digital student, but I do still like pen and paper. So I'll probably use just like paper or whatever, um, like just printer paper because I have printer paper here at my house, but I also have printer paper um, at my apartment um, in Hampton. 
so I do a mixture of those things and that is all I have you guys I do plan on putting a video on how putting out a video on how I take notes I definitely want to make sure that I'm more concise um, with my notes this semester because last semester was really laying down the foundation which is great um, but this semester we're really learning like really starting to get into the PT of like what we're gonna do um, as like actual physical therapists so I really want to make sure I have good notes this semester so using digital but I know for a fact and, and just knowing myself that I'm going to also be using paper so if you would like to see how I you know take my notes in grad school and PT school then make sure to stick around because I do plan on putting a video out about that but for right now that is all I have for you guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below how you prep for your semester are you trying to become a digital student let me know down in the comments and if you are not subscribed to my channel make sure to hit that red bell button down below and until next time I will see you guys later bye